All my life was a paper, once plain, pure, and white. Till you moved with your pen, changing moods now and then, till the balance was right. Then you added some music, every note was in place. And anybody could see all the changes in me by the look on your face. And you decorated my life, created a world where dreams are apart. And you. Okay, that's it. Is uh, that for me? Bobby Lee, everyone. No, yeah, what is that for me? No, that was for um the kid Ramy that I play on um Warzone with. Are you Georgia. sure he's eighteen? He sounds like a little baby. Yeah, he is a kid. That would be so sad if all this time you and Eric, near fifty year olds, were were playing with a thirteen year old, and you just sang him a Kenny Rogers song. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be weird. That would be weird. Mr. Lee, who's Kenny Rogers? <laughs> yeah, I know. You wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. Do you know that I didn't know that Kenny Rogers was a singer when I was living in the Philippines? I thought he that... owned chicken. Yeah, it, because oh. of Kenny Rogers roasters. Oh. That yep. was like only like the rich kids could go there because that was a, a step above McDonald's and um, KFC. And when Kenny Rogers roasters came out in Manila and my family happened to be in Manila at that time, oh my God, my dad blew his load. <laughs> and so for the longest time, I just thought that he was a, a fucking, he was a ribs man. Like he had a chain of restaurants. So Wait, your dad comes when he eats chicken? What the fuck are you talking about? Well, no. That'd right. be cool, huh? Blew his financial That would be amazing. Every time you yeah. eat, eat a piece of chicken, you come? Oh, El Polo. Also, El he bought weird. me one of those tumblers from Kenny Rogers Roasters. And I own that tumbler, and the the one that would like flip, and the stars and all of the, the little uh -huh. things would fall. I, it's like I, a snow I globe. thought Kenny Rogers was a good poker player for like a bit, like a, a like a gambler. Poker. Like I, I literally thought he was like a gambler, and then somebody else sang a song about him as a gambler. <laughs> Wait, but how, what's your Wait, excuse? You what? lived in America. What prompted? I, I'm, I'm, I have um, I'm I'm dumb. I'm oh. just a dumb guy. I'm a dumb oh, guy. Oh, oh duh. Okay. You don't know that. <laughs> That's yeah. That's that's I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. I'm really stupid. As soon as my plane hey, landed, hey, hey, stop playing the game. What, what is happening? She's always playing that mobile game. Light, mobile Legends. They Mo should mobile sponsor Legends. us. At yeah, this we should sponsor us. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. Always playing. You know. You know I, uh, what? Go ahead. As soon as you have no excuse about the Kenny Rogers thing, because as soon as my plane landed in LAX in America yeah. for the first time, mm -hmm. auto automatically my brain was like, oh, I know Kenny Rogers. Like that's how you should know mm. as an American who Kenny Rogers is. I, um, automatically, it got downloaded into my brain. My excuse was I was in the Philippines. Of course, I'm not gonna know who Kenny Rogers is. Yeah, but you mm. should know. But he always kind of looked the same, which is cool. Mm -hmm. He always had that Santa Claus kind of look. Yeah, I love when white people have that look. You know what I mean? They're kind of little chubby cheeks with the beard and the white hair, and then they stay like that for forty mm. years. <laughs> It's really good look, man. You know, also, you know what? I, I like when they have crinkles in their eyes. You know, I've said that before. You, you love the crow's feet. The I crow's love crow's feet. feet. I love that rosy white cheeks. Mm -hmm. You know, I like, um, you know, f chubbier white older guys that are jolly. That's you know what, what I don't like? The buff what? ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Charleston Heston. You know, the ones that are like 80 oh. but still really buff kind of. But they're like, f they have like really like Clint Eastwood like leather skin a lot of freckles a lot of wrinkles like leathery ja like Jack Lalonde is that his name yeah the old guy at 100 doing like... basically I'm saying that I, I, I Brian Callen <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, oh. Brian Callen fuck Brian Callen Look, I, I want to say something alright I text this guy Brian yeah. Callen uh -huh. right out of the blue and he don't text me back baby what did you text him you text I said him? Fuck Richard Flaherty. Ha 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 ha. Who's he? Well, then he posted on Instagram. Oh, no. About, um, he was going on and off about this guy named um, Richard Flaherty. He was a, I guess, in the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. He was four foot nine. And a he giant. was like, mm -hmm. like a Purple Heart winner or whatever. Do you win those or what? No, you earn those. You earn them. You can't win them? No. I don't it's know if there's a, a game to no. play. 
it's like not if you a shoot hundred yard dash. If you shoot, no, if you shoot twenty five babies or whatever, or you know what I mean. Oh no! You get you, you win a purple heart. I mean, no. Cool. Earn no, so. win. It's the same word. Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, um, but then this Flaherty guy was four nine, and he won a bunch of medals. He was also the Green Beret, but he was four nine. Mm-hmm. And and Brian Kellen was on Instagram getting really emotional about this guy. Like this guy's a hero, and then later in life. You know what I mean? He had alcoholism and he died or whatever it mm-hmm. might be. And I just texted, fuck <laughs> Richard Flaherty. <laughs> right? And dead zone, nothing. You're the worst. Nothing from this guy. And it's been, you know. Not even people, an LOL. People will not, not text me back. Look at Ike Barinholtz. I text him. You good? Nothing. Yeah, but that's not a very, if someone texted me, you good, I'd be like, eh. you didn't put too much thought behind that. Hey, do a follow that, up. Do a follow up. Okay, what do I do? You really good? <laughs> no, I don't want. No, I, I don't. Ah! <laughs> it's too needy. It's too. Guess needy. not, huh? Hey, it's you really needy. good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I think that'd be a fun game. You tell me who to text, and you can. You guys are allowed to write me the text. Okay. Yep. 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 Yeah, yeah, Here, yeah, give yeah, it to yeah. me. Give it to me. Give oh, it to no, me. No, no, I, no. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I've been meaning to do this for a long time. Because if you do it, then you're gonna put some extra shit in there. <laughs> oh, that's a point, right? <laughs> no, no, no. So give me, give me somebody. And let's you go can do it on my phone. Who you talk to for a while? Let's start with Andrew Santino. Tell me what to text. And I will text him that. Nothing rude like, you know what I mean, your mom's a rapist or anything like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, it would be kind like of... fuck Flaherty. <laughs> yeah, can you turn the uh, air off? No, it's I need really it. Cold. I'm really hot. I'm, I can't do it. I'm sweating. All right, keep it on. <laughs> um, <laughs> keep, all right, you, te- okay. you tell me. Andrew Santin, let's start. Go ahead. Okay, I, I'm going mm. to give this hand this over. abstract and weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go something specific that Bobby wouldn't know about like audio equipment. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, um, um, hey, hey Andrew, ahead. quick question. Okay, hey, this is something that I would never say. <laughs> hey, Andrew, I'm going to... Sh- yeah, hey, Andrew. Hey, hey, Andrew, quick question. No, Pierre, is- you, have to, you also have to punctuate. Oh, hey, hey Andrew, Andrew, I never... Qu- yeah. All right, quick question. Quick question. No, quick, quick question. query. Quick, query. Qu- how do you spell query? <laughs> Q-U-E-R-Y. Q-U-E-R-Y. <laughs> Why? Why? By chance, do, would you happen to? Is that, yes, well, it's one. It's a one R, right? Yeah, query. Quick query. Per or chance. You, I, per chance. Okay. Per chance. Per chance. <laughs> per, cha- per chance. Would you yeah. happen to know which you, extension wait, I need? Okay. Per chance, would you? Mm-hmm. Would you happen to know which extension I need? Happen to know? Would you happen to know what extension? Which which? W- no, which? Yeah, which extension? Is that which like W I T H C H T H like which W I T C H Witcher Witcher oh, yeah Witch yeah wait, wait, Witch right there Witch yeah Do you happen to know which Go ahead Which extension Extension ex- I need I need for the cloud r- lifter Okay <laughs> Yeah we need for the cloud lifter Um um, uh, uh, and uh, any uh, suggestions? H- yeah, any suggestions yeah. would be appreciated Yeah any suggestions would be <laughs> Be appreciated. It would be appreciated. It would be appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much in advance. Uh, thank you so much in advance. Yeah. Oh, best. Yes. He's oh. he literally is gonna call me yes. right away and go, oh, "What's wrong with you? Did you hold, <laughs> fall on your head? What's going on with you?" Thanks. What what is it? Any suggestions would be appreciated. Th- thanks, thanks so much in advance. Thanks so yeah. much in advance. P.S. In Could advance. I borrow your USB 3.0? Uh, uh, what? No, the PS is too cash. We want him to sound like a fucking. Let's just start yeah. there. Okay, so <laughs> look, I'm gonna, I'm, he wants me to sound like George. <laughs> okay, so here's. I've never I'm gonna, said I'm, thanks in advance. I'm gonna prove that I'm gonna text it. So here we go. So this is his. Yeah. You can't see his number up there. Yeah. Oh, one, one time, one time, Delia texted me once, mm-hmm. and then I posted it on Twitter, but I didn't crop out his number above. <laughs> <laughs> and he oh, called me back. What the fuck are you doing? Delete it! Delete it! Delete it! And then he still got a bunch of texts from like random people. Did you get a new phone? Phone number? I think he did, yeah. Oh. Uh, so here we go. And send. So let's see. Let's see if he'll uh, give me somebody else. Eric Griffin. Let's just start here. What about David Spade? Uh, oh, oh I, I don't <laughs> want to burn that bridge. Oh, see, you're not playing the game for real. I was all right, all you. right, all right. I'll play the game for real. Or I'll play the game for real. No, because he, I, listen. I won't pressure you. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm not going to pressure you. Wonderful job on Wrong Missy. Really, really enjoying you playing the straight man on this one. (laughs) (laughs) Whoa. We're going to make you something. No way. Yeah. This one. And then you're going to go into a critique about his movie. Uh -uh. About his performance. Yep. I especially love the scene. All right. Let's play this game then. 
<laughs> I'll give you my phone. Mm -hmm. You can randomly text oh, anybody God, anything you want, but I can do it with you as well. I have no fears. Oh, that's a challenge. <laughs> really? I have no fears. I'm sweating so much. <laughs> but, but Bob, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't okay. text anything right. like insane. Oh, yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna give him a nice critique of his. No, no, you I mean, can't. You can't. There's certain people you can't text, especially like someone like Mark Maron right now. Oh, of course. Do you not think I have nunchi or what? <laughs> yeah, she's got nunchi. Yeah, yeah, don't go. What's up? You know what I mean? Yeah. Anything like that. Um, well, maybe we'll play this game a little later. <laughs> 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 I just had a sense. I just, I, you know what? It's such a nerve wracking thing, you know, because if you were to go through my phone, who would you text first? Uh, I would probably text. Gardo. Oh. Okay, you're fucking with family. Not just a family. He's not your family. Because I know where you're gonna go with that. No, I'm gonna go. Hey, I was just, you know, I'm not. This is what I would text Gardo. <laughs> oh hey, God. you know, it's not going well with me and um, Bobby, and I, you know, I just, um, I'm having feelings for you again for some reason. Like I miss you. You know what I mean? But I think it's more than friends. Something, something like that. Oh my God, he would call your bluff so quickly. He would He'd call. Be like, you know, it's you. That's so yeah. obvious. That's so <laughs> he, obvious. Yeah, him and I are so close. He'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? He wouldn't believe that at all. Oh, okay. Not well, a I'll... chance in hell. Chris Darcy then. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Oh, oh Remy <laughs> bit, bit me in the foot. Oh. Remy what? bit him in the foot oh, again. Remy. Oh, Remy. He, Bo Remy hates Bobby's left foot. Bobby's left foot is Remy's like mortal enemy. And first of all, what is he doing down there all the time? What? I didn't know he was because there. Um, what happens if we don't um, bring him down here? He goes to the, the cat litter and then he has himself a buffet. He just eats cat shit yeah. all day. So I have to keep an eye on him. Yeah. Um, you know? What? Um, so you would text Darcy? What would you say? I go. Um, Can you tell the audience who Darcy is? He's just a, 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 a <laughs> once upon a time, not even an official, like he wasn't an official official. Yeah, you know what? You, you know, he uh, was a, a a love affair I had in Australia a, while, a long time ago. She's had a lot of love affairs. No, I haven't. Yeah. Not more than you. Yeah, my, mine weren't love though. Mine were sexual affairs. Oh, okay. Yeah, but no. you've had like feelings <laughs> and stuff. International too. Very nice, like international. Like you, when you were reading the emails last night, it was like really touching in my heart. Oh yeah, that shit really emails? broke me up. That she she brought up some old emails that. Uh, no, I didn't. Um, so I was looking through, not intentionally. I'm not searching for old love letters. That's weird. So I yeah, had, but it's just like when you walk into a room, right? Your bedroom. Yeah. And she's on the computer and she's crying. Oh. Crying. And she's just like, I just, you know, um, this email reminded me of this, you know, the guy, and you know. No, I have yeah, regrets. Is what and it regrets is. and all that stuff, and it's just like, it's so touching that she has. Those types of deep feelings with for people, you know. Mm. I whereas I, for me, I don't. Yes, if I read if I read an email from an ex girlfriend, I would have. Well, I'd never. They've never emailed me, but <laughs> if they if I had one, I just be. I would get on it and go. How do I get out of this? Yeah. <laughs> or like, Wait, where's the delete? Yeah. Or do I forward? I don't know how to do yeah. it. Wait, I, that's exactly how I feel for most of them. Actually, like my my ex Alex, he's a fucking monster. I mm. I any. Yeah. If I happen to stumble onto something old that he had written me, like I swear to God, I start, I have a mustache sweat immediately. Like I, he's he's very he's diabolical to me. Anyways, mm -hmm. no, but I was looking for an old uh, children's story that I had written in as a teenager. Oh, by the way, really good. And so um, my sister was like, "Hey, I think if you search your old emails and look for, you know, so this this word in your email specifically." Um, you'll find it. And sure enough, I found it. But when I found that, I also found much older emails from the the ex that I had before, Bobby, who I was with for almost five years. Mm -hmm. And um, it was, I made a lot of mistakes. And, and the very last thing that he said to me was, he wrote me while I was, we had already broken up, but he wrote me while I was in Australia on vacation with somebody else, somebody new. And he basically said like, I, I, can we be friends? Like, uh, you are, like, fuck all of this. Fuck all the feelings. Like, you are my friend, first and foremost. I love you. We shared a life together. And I don't care. I, I basically, I don't care. I want you in my life. And it, yeah. You I, decorated my life. life. But that didn't happen. We didn't stay friends because um, the he eventually found um, somebody else who was not okay with any type of uh, friendship.
friendships with me, which is fine. I totally respect that. And so that's it. But it made me emotional. And that's what Bobby walked into in the room. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Like, I don't think of like emotional things like that. I, I think of like, you know, little incidences. Like? Like one time I was, I can't say her name, but um, she was, <laughs> she was playing with my pee pee. I don't know. I was fully erect. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Yeah, and um, she was doing it like robotically. Ooh. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Like you're automation? the stick shift. Yeah, and I go, yeah, and I go, it's not a joystick. You're like, you're not playing yeah. a video game. And she, tears came out of her eyes, and she goes, thanks a lot. <laughs> Right, and then like she, we wouldn't, she didn't hook up with me for like two weeks after that. I love it. But, but I remember thinking they're like, I just said, don't do it that way. Like, what? That's How did so you weird. say it though? Yeah, okay, here I am. I'm giving you joy. Did you call her? Here we go. Here we go. Did you call her her name? Okay. Okay. Here, 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 here I am. Can you yeah, get yeah. this, on, Jules? This is on camera. Well, first frame. Jules, I know, but first of all, I want to say this. Okay. I didn't say it right away, so why don't you start doing it, and I'm going to show you my facial expression. Okay, we're in the dark. You, yeah, but I'll just, yeah, if you just go. Wait, set the stage. Set the stage. Yeah, so I mean, we're in Hello. the bed. We're in the bed. Yeah. Oh, Clyla. Yeah, yeah, we don't know. We're not doing that. So <laughs> just, not? yeah, just do the, just do the penis Hold thing. On. Hold on. Okay. R- yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want to be in it. I want to be in the scene. All right, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I want to be All like. Right, go. All right. I'm looking you straight in the eyes because I want a romantic uh, connection. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um. Yeah, it's not a fucking joystick. You're not playing a video game. What? <laughs> Say thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks a lot. lot. Thanks oh, a okay. lot. You had one line to memorize. Do it over. Do it over. You had one Take fucking line to memorize. And she says what? And she goes line. Line, line, line. Take it to the top. Take it to the top. Ready and action. and action. Do you like it? You don't ask, don't improvise. <laughs> this is an Aaron right. Sorkin. Right. This is an Aaron Sorkin. This is an Aaron Sorkin project. You have to do it by the lines. Stop all right, don't improvise. I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. fuck. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I fucking? What the fuck am I, LeBron James? <laughs> just, just go, go. All right, all right, all right, go. <sighs> It's it's not a fucking joystick. It's not a video game. Thanks a lot. <laughs> very good. Very like that? yeah. Very good. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic, Kalala. And she's wow. she's probably gonna hear that right now. And the she person listen that did to that. This? She doesn't listen to this. I think they, I think people do. No, no. She, we didn't say a name. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's Santino. Are you ready? Yeah. Put it next to the so mic. So just I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm on the podcast. Yeah. Go go. Try your best. Try your best. Hello? Who sent that text? I did. Quick query? <laughs> yeah, you know, I know what query, query, query means. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Who, who typed that? I did, man. I know what query means. <laughs> Say it again. Query, query. <laughs> What are you talking about? Did you have it? Can you help me? Wait, what? Is, what do you need the cloud lifter for? Because I'm I'm working on a project. What are you working on? It's a video. It's a, it's a surprise, man. What? Why would you care? Can you help me? What's it for? It's for a fucking sketch thing that I'm doing. Now. I got to. I need the extension. Um, wait. You have a cloud lifter at the house? Yeah, man. I have a lot of stuff in the house. Well, what do you, wait, but do you have a deck for it? What do you have it plugged into? I have it plugged into my computer. Oh, so what do you need? And the extension. Ox, ox, ox. What extension? Ox, 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 the ox extension. You need, you need the, well. <laughs> <laughs> What's so fucking funny? I need your help. I need your fucking help and you're laughing at me, you fuck. No, no. I text, you know what? I, I, I should have texted somebody else no, then for, I'm, but for the I'm cloud extension you, ox. What I'm saying, what I'm asking you is why do you need the cloud lifter? What are you doing? I can't, it's something up for bad friends, but I can't explain why. I need better uh, audio okay. quality. Surprise. Well, okay, okay. Um, I can't go to the studio and get you anything though. Uh, what about 
Ken, jo- Ken, what about George? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you George, George, George can do it. George can do it. I should have texted him. <laughs> anyway, have a good day, okay? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Uh, what? Do you think I got, I didn't get out of it, did I? You know so good. Do you think I got out of it? I don't think I did. I think He's, he knows that there's something weird. He sort of believed yeah. you, I feel like. A little maybe turned a little, around at the maybe end. Maybe a yeah. little bit, but like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was really fun. Quir- that was query? exciting. Query. Now we should do Eric Griffin. Uh, okay. Oh, now we should do Eric Griffin. But now. no, it should be this <laughs> game is no fun if you have no price to pay. It has to be costly to your life. <laughs> she really wants the. Oh really? David's. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> oh, honestly, oh really? Oh really? Oh really? Oh, it's got, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the re- you know what, Juliana? This is the deal. Juliana, I, I want to say something. This is the deal. I want to. Um, Put you on, uh, on. You need to be on your tiptoes here, okay? And I know that you're playing and you're doing your own thing because you're bored. But I'm gonna have you sit here where Kalala's sitting, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna interview you for a second. Wait, hang I, on. We'll do it when we do Handumanan because I okay, have a picture you, okay, of her. Okay, I'm gonna let you know right now, okay? You're about to get interviewed on screen mm. because I'm tired of your fucking snotty teenage attitude, mm. All right? Mm. Like we're in some sort of fucking 80s. We should have sent her to Russia to learn rhythmic gymnastics with Miss Arena. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. So I want. We want. We saw something on. Great segue. <laughs> It's a beautiful segue, by mm-hmm. the way. Very yeah, good. Of course, you're welcome. Because I, yeah, I wouldn't have brought it up, but um, so we saw we've been watching a lot of stuff. You know, it's you know you you it just you get bored, so you just keep watching shit. And we, I, I like to watch good things. And uh, we saw a documentary called Over the Limit, and it's about um, rhythmic gymnastics in Russia. It's just following one girl. Her name is Margarita Mamoun. Yeah. And. I think Mahmoud or Mamoun. It doesn't, um, it doesn't Mamoun. matter. Um, I don't want to get it wrong because she's a legend in, she's Ra- a legend. in Russia. She really but is a legend. But it basically follows her. It is, I'm telling you, the movie Whiplash, but in real life mm. and with rhythmic gymnastics instead, except Terrence Fletcher is in the shape of a woman who's actually who might actually be the devil to me. Like it, she, she literally is the worst... The hardest, hardest coach I've ever seen in any kind of sporting situation. It's like this woman is heartless and mean, but also just interesting to watch because she mm. just says whatever that comes to mind. She uses any kind of tactics to like get into their her like uh, athletes like psyche. Yeah, but it's very it's very old school. So like it didn't surprise me that that's how she coached her athlete that she was always calling her stupid or calling her useless, calling her a fucking cow or saying go fuck yourself. Yeah. Like it and loudly like in public in too, public, yeah. while either after her performance or during training or whatever. But it didn't it doesn't surprise me because like that's just how even when I was younger, that's how it was done and that's why I fucking have to pay a lot of money for, for th- you know, for a fucking professional to process my trauma because that's <laughs> yeah. just my whole childhood. Like, I, I had a fucking coach. I was eight years old, and I had a coach bring a gun to practice and shoot the kickboards. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, like that was our thing. And then we, when we, when we weren't up to par or up to standard of like either we didn't beat our time, we would have to sit there in like a, do you know what, like in like a hovering squat with like weights on us. Damn. And then we had another coach who, after that, like, would um with she she would hold my sister's inhaler when my sister was having a, an asthma attack and she mm. would tell my sister to like get through it your get get through it yourself and my sister would be cyanotic and like blue in the lips mm. i would uh. have to swim through ear infections fevers pink eye like i would have ooze coming into my goggles i would have to swim through it i was 8 i had to yeah. work out twice a day since i was 8 years old i had to hear those things every day of my life you ain't shit you ain't shit you ain't shit mind you i was the shit but i that's what I I was surrounded by. There was no love or protection or saying, "Hey, like, you know, like you can do this." None. It was just punishment, punishment, punishment. Like even when you did good, it was like, "Well, that's what you should have done." Mm. So you get no prize. Yeah, like this girl's like in like just you know like a practice session, and this lady's like using like her dad's sick with cancer. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. sick with cancer is like your dad's dying. Yeah. Feel something. Yeah, your feel something. Dying. Like perform like your perform for your father who's dying. Yeah. P.S. Yeah, he's, he's dying. 
just so she, to get her to like just get, have any kind of reaction, you know what I mean? But it's like. You know, I used to have a piano teacher that if you messed up on a note, she would slam the key, the, the lid oh onto your fingers. Oh, my God. Right? So you would just be like, oh, I'm going to mess up. And, the, and she would do it hard. Mm. And I remember telling my mom, I'm not, never going to go back to that lady. I, this, this is insane. I'm so glad you had enough sound or like enough balls to be like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm out. I, I was so. Yeah, but, I, but my mom always knew that my cousin Andy and I tr- p- poured gasoline on the Korean church and tried to burn it down. Like, I have, I have this like. <laughs> Nihilistic, either as a kid, like, oh yeah, yeah? we're all gonna burn then. Watch, but this. that's yeah. not. I don't think that you, you wanna, were you born that me? way. I no, th- I, because I was beat so much. Yeah, right? exactly. I got to a point when I was like twelve or thirteen years old. It's like, okay, we're all gonna die. Mm. You know, yeah. I, I don't give a fuck. You know, I, I'm gonna, I'll take it to the limit. Right. So it's like I'm not. That's why I'm not an Olympic gold medalist. So I was so oh. afraid because I just I wouldn't be able to do it. You know what though? Yeah. That's not what makes an Olympic gold medalist. But the she, reason but that she she did end up winning it. No, and she won it because the lady couldn't go to the Olympics. <laughs> so, but I, but, th- but I think that I oh. really do believe. I uh, know I really do believe it was some of that stuff though. No, I don't believe that, and you shouldn't perpetuate the idea that success comes Brian from Callen punishment. Brian Callen just texted me back. What did he say? <laughs> Here we go. He just oh. says, gasp. Oh. What does it mean, gasp? <gasps> like, <gasps> hey, everyone, we're going to take a quick break to share this amazing sponsor with you. BetterHelp, professional and affordable counseling. Mm-hmm. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 24 hours. Kalila and I both have gotten great value out of this service. Mm-hmm. It's a great way to... Um, Get healthy mentally and spiritually and emotionally. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's Mm -hmm. professional counseling done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's counselor network, which may not be locally available in many areas. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you don't won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. I personally really like it because I feel more connected to my therapist. There's a there's an option in the app where you can journal. Um, you can also text them if you're feeling a little bit... Um, you know, overwhelmed that day. They feel more reachable. And I couldn't have asked for um, a better experience, especially during these times of quarantine. I, I think agree. it's important to um, keep your head healthy, keep your head above water, mm-hmm. and better help is what's going to get you It's a great service, guys. Go ahead. Tell them the rest. Call better to action. H- better <laughs> BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit their website and read their testimonials that are posted daily. Visit BetterHelp.com slash belly. That's better H-E-L-P and join over 500,000 people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Special offer for Tiger Belly listeners. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash belly. Enjoy the rest of the show. Sorry, what I'm sorry. saying is, you know, I think that... The reason that a lot of athletes are having a much longer career now. Back in the day, either when you were a gymnast, a swimmer, a runner, whatever. By the time you were 18, 19, 20, you peaked, you're done. Your body was so ran to the ground and psychologically you were just Mm -hmm. so over it. Emotionally, your emotional tank was just at the bottom. I think that now the reason that people can still be Olympians in their late 20s and 30s is because they introduced the idea of love and support and the fact that... You know, people thrive better and compete better when they're emotionally happy and yeah, they enjoy I the sport. I saw Rocky Three. I get it. <laughs> yeah, but stop saying Ivan that. Ivan Drago an had all the stuff, right? Yeah, he had all the high tech. He there was sh- were they shooting like some sort of like futuristic steroids Cy- in cyborg him? Cyborg steroids, cyborg stuff, and and, and then, just old school. And then Rocky went into a barn. Mm-hmm. Right, and he started lifting carriages and <laughs> putting hay on his, sh- mm-hmm. dancing with hay on his shoulder, and then mm-hmm. chasing chasing little chickies, Chickens, yeah. right, and then like lifting cows and stuff, right? <laughs> Carl Weathers, Carl yes, Weathers. Apollo Creed, Apollo, Apollo, yes, <laughs> because of the Apollo, Apollo, right? Mm-hmm. He, he did, he's you quilled my black friend, you quilled yeah. him, you quilled my black friend. <laughs> I'm gonna go him. to a bar. <laughs> you know what, you guys? I have a speech impediment, and when you guys tease me. 
And when you guys tease me like that, it really hurts. You know, I'm so disappointed that you couldn't even say query. Oh, say query. one more time. I don't know how to say it. Query. query. I don't know how query. to say it either, actually. Query. Well, I think is so. it yeah. query? Query. Query. I don't know. Query. I never say yeah. that word. Why would I say that word ever? Uh, query, guys. I, don't say that word at all. I have a question. Uh, <laughs> I have a question. Quick right. query, everybody. Query. query. Yes, That's query. how you say it. See, ask oh, George Kimmel. George. He would know. Um, hold on here. He just texted me. Can I just say this? So you can yeah, this yeah, out. yeah. He goes, I'm tweeting this text. Go back to China. Um, Brian Callen. No, hold on. He should have. He missed this opportunity yeah. to say China. 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 No, he did it in capital. China. Let me see. Because <laughs> that's a missed opportunity. Hold on. Tweeting this text. No, no. It should have been C H Y Y Y Y N A. China. That's, see, that's my brother. My, my brother. <laughs> I'm your brother. <laughs> Kalila. That's actually kiss? very accurate this Let's kiss. No, 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 no. Let's kiss. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he kisses his brother like this too. <laughs> um, oh, he slipped. He slipped a little, slipped a little tongue, extra. A little tongue in there. Yeah. When cat hair too. <laughs> There's cat hair in that kiss like three strands. Uh, I know. I, I kissed the cats as well. <laughs> um, Anyways, don't beat your children. But it's oh, the, the documentary is called Over the Top. Over the Limit. Top. Over the Top was the arm oh, wrestling yeah, one. Over the, over the, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Over the Limit. Great movie. Yeah, and it's a really good documentary. Yeah. And then I also just, side note, I saw something great last night as well. I saw Bad Education. Do you see that movie? No, that's HBO? Yeah. yeah. Really good. You know, usually when I watch something, I just turn it off. Oh. You know, okay. when, if I just see, if I see it, it's not, you know, if I, if I see that it's not up to, just worth it, you know, I just mm -hmm. kind of go, oh, uh, but this, you can tell right up front that. You know, the acting and the writing is just at a level. You know, I like watching things where I go, oh, I can't do that. Mm. You know, sometimes I'll watch a comedy, like a lowbrow, shitty comedy, and I'll go, ah, uh, you know, mm. I could do that, you know, so I don't respect it. But when I see high-level acting, right, like Al Alice and Janney is, you know, so good, I want to say something about Alice and Janney. She, I have, have I ever talked about her around this? I don't, do you know her? Well, I've never met her, but every time I do run into her, she's so nice to me. Mm. She goes, hey, but, like as if we met before. But she Maybe just seems have, like you... that type of beloved, like sunny woman. And she seems like a, just overall like the best person on earth. Every time I look at her, there's like, she's I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a that's a nice person. Yeah. yeah. Um, speaking of nice people, I also want to. Um, uh, one of my. I don't know if I should bring it up. Fuck it, I will. Fred okay. Willard. Mm. Oh. Yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. Legend. If 100%. you don't know who Fred Willard is, go fuck yourself. Yeah, truly. By the way, seriously, mm. stick your fucking fingers. Give yourself a fucking... In your fucking pussy and um, fuck yourself. That kind of old school... Yeah. So Fred Willard is... Um, he's been in... Uh, Best in Show. He was in Spinal Tap. Um, he's been. He was in Harold and Kumar with me, mm -hmm. the first one. Um, he he did the Mad TV finale, our last episode. He's done several. I've worked with him several times, and I've done, I've done sketches with him. Um, he was, and I had met him way years, but even before I got Mad TV, I was hang, hanging out with Barry Sobel at a cafe once, and he sat with us and had a coffee. You know, he's just like a really. Good dude, you know, but also when you watch him perform, you just cont he's just another guy that you're like, oh, that guy has the magic touch of comedy. You know, he's just a funny guy, you know, mm -hmm. and he was kind and generous and he died. He was what? 86. 86 years old. I mean, he was old back then, it seemed mm -hmm. like. But um, when I found out that he passed, it it it. I cried. It it, it broke me. Mm. He's a good dude, and rest in peace, Fred. Because, um, you know, I don't think um, I think that every I think like especially in comedy and comedy acting, everyone influences everybody. You know, and there there are there's just people that he's influenced, whether you know it or not. You know, and it, since we're on the same topic, I, is it too early to bring up Lynn? No, of course. When there's no correct time to to honor or like mourn someone's passing if you know them so um 
you know, I didn't know her that well, but um, I, I could consider her a friend. My friend Lynn, who is dating and living with Mark Maron. Mm-hmm. His mm-hmm. partner. His partner um, mm-hmm. just passed away over the weekend. Whoa. And she, did you know about that? No. Yeah. She directed Love. She's directed all the, the rattle off oh, all yeah, the she, shit. She, she directed Glow. That's how she met uh, Mark. Mad Men. She did um, Little Fires Everywhere on yeah. Hulu. I did read and she was, so. And she was, um, I, I honestly, because when we were in Catalina shooting Love, she was our director. And I honestly, I even told her this. I go, you know, of all the directors, TV directors I've had, like she's like the most, her notes were like very concise. And she's also, um, G- gentle, you know, which you do really well with. I do well with gentle. I don't do well with harsh, you know, d- directors and stuff like that. But she, um, and um, when she, when she was um, dating Mark, oh, she, she would come at the comedy store every night. She she hung out with us every night. She was always there. I always gave her a hug. I always said hello. Um, and uh, she had some sort of um, blood. Yeah, it plot just, or d- disease, right? Some sort of blood. According to him, it was something underlying. Underlying, yeah, yeah. And but, but Bobby and I felt really sickened by it. Like we, we truly, it. We couldn't get over it when we found out. That's just you know when, it's hard to when you lose somebody, um, all as is. But it's harder to lose it when it's sudden and when you're confined to a home. Yeah, and when you don't have mm. people that can just come over and hug you or like process your grief with in that way, in like a physical way, so like we felt real sick about it. And um, also, out of all comics, Mark has reached out to me more. I mean, I'm not f- that close to him, but he has helped me in the past, and um, he has checked up on me. I think three times during this. Which is more than Dalia, none, <laughs> zero, <laughs> right? Sebastian a couple of times, but Mark has always been like, "How are you? Okay, you know, how are you doing? You fine? How's sobriety? Stuff like that, you know." So, um, when I found out late Saturday night, I it, it just I it tore me apart. I, it, it, I'm still in a daze about it. I, mm. So, um. I just feel bad for Mark because he's such a good dude, and he, you know he. You know we wouldn't be podcasting the way we are without someone like him because mm-hmm. he, him and Rogan, I think invented the game, the new podcast game. Mm-hmm. You know, um, so um, pray f- if you believe in the Jesus, pray for um, Mark. I also got a text from Abby. I want to put her on speakerphone because she's so crazy and loud. Mm, <laughs> yeah, but don't put her out. I'm like just, that. just we'll okay. cut it out if it doesn't yeah, work. Yeah. All right, but. You tell she's her like, though. hello, and uh, watch. I'm, I'm Remind gonna... me to tell you about my brain spotting. Oh, yeah, I will. Right after Wait. this. Let her know she's on. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Good afternoon. Who answers a phone like that? <laughs> I do. Good afternoon, darling. Hi, Abby. Hi. Hi, Kalila. I miss you. I miss I you, too. About you today. I miss you. How are you guys doing? We're good. What do you want? Okay, what do I want? I need... Um, this morning I, I went urinating and a little blood came out. What do you think that means? A teeny, teeny bit? No, it was like a lot. It was like all, it, it was like I was peeing and then it was all blood and then no blood. <laughs> what the fuck? That can't mean anything good. But it could be good. It, it's not that bad. What is Kalila? Did you look it up? Well, then also blood's coming out of my butthole, too. Did you eat anything weird? Yeah, I've been eating a lot of blood muffins. No, did, did you eat anything different? No, I eat blood muffins. It's great. It's a pork blood. Pork blood? Yeah, it's like pork blood. It's like a Filipino dish. It's a pl- pork blood muffins. So could that be what it is? Well, I don't know. If you eat a pork blood, it's all, you know how you make it is it's, it's like you, you put pork blood in a bowl you put some flour in there, right? And then you just mix it, and then you put some corn. It's delicious. And you bake it. You put a little egg in it, too. And But I've been eating, like, every meal I've been eating pork blood, pork, <laughs> pork blood buns for the, uh, nine meals in a row. That could be it, I would imagine. So, yeah, you think that makes me my 
blood, uh, pee blood? I would think so, but I would. Did you look up on WebMD? What? Well, yeah, I look. I googled um, bl pork blood buns to cook it. You mean that? No, I'm like blood and urine. What does uh, it mean? No, I don't know. I He's don't know. fucking with you, Abby. What? Did you do that? No, I didn't pee. He didn't pee blood. He's fine. I'm fine. Oh, he's lying to me. Okay, also, you have to do that little test for the voiceover. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So do that. Yeah. And then finally... I'm blind guys... in my left eye. Oh, shut up. Did you guys think of any ideas? All right, uh, we're, you're on the podcast. I am? Oh, shit. Get me off. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. Pork, pork blood off. buns. <laughs> what? It's a fun game. It's a oh, fun man. game. Oh yeah. man. Maybe oh, we'll, maybe we'll keep that in. Bless her heart. Uh, bless her heart. Why did you? Why did you cave? Why do you always cave uh, when, because, when we do tricks? Because she's a mom, and she <laughs> genuinely cares about your well being. And if she's gonna hang up the phone thinking, "Oh my God, Bobby is shitting and pissing blood," blood it's gonna ruin her day. There's no such thing as pork blood buns. <laughs> yeah, there is. There's. <laughs> What do you think Dinuguan is? That's why when you were describing it, I was like, oh my God. Oh, that's an actual thing. It's you're a Filipino kind of dish. You're kind of describing Dinuguan. It's pork blood. Oh, wow. I don't know. I was making it up. And she oh. probably will go on Google, like Filipino pork blood, and then like, it's a real thing. Oh, oh, oh fuck. Yeah. My, my bad, my bad. Yeah, it's oh, entrails man. and pork blood. We call it Dinuguan. It's, and you really? cook it with vinegar. Oh, yeah, God. it's, uh -huh. I mean, on in my uh, meat eating carnivorous days, it was really a treat. So another thing Kal Kalila has been doing is she's, we've been doing therapy. Mm -hmm. We know that. You know that, right? But she's also doing point. What's it called? <laughs> point. That's exactly. It's called point. What's it um, called? I try, I've been doing this thing called um, brain spotting. Mm. And um, I was really uh, skeptical about the whole thing because I like, I can usually. It's a new Guy Ritchie movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like that That's one. Good, good, good. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so I, every time I see like therapy, like hypnosis or hypnotherapy, I, I always think to myself, like, I, I can't be that person. I can always, I could probably intellectualize myself out of an experience. I can't like fully commit emotionally. But there's this other therapy called brain spotting. And if you've never, it's similar to EMDR, I guess, in the sense that um, it's used to, um, it's used for unprocessed trauma. Mm -hmm. But the idea is that um, it is where, where you look affects how you feel. Um, they use a pointer and depending on where, if, if you're attached to an emotion, let's say that I am actively thinking about my eight-year-old self or the trauma of um, being worked hard as a kid, right? And then someone uses a pointer. You also are wearing um, headphones to with sound coming in from both ears alternating. So it's like binaural beats. So it's like boom, boom, boom. And basically, there's a point at which if you are connected to the feeling and the memory, there's a point at which the the pointer that you're looking at will trigger a very deep feeling. Where you look, that's where in your subcortical brain, the unprocessed trauma lies. And I swear to you guys, I was like, well, this is not going to work for me. I took a shower before therapy. I was mm -hmm. like, mm, you know, I'm just going to see how this goes. I ended up drooling on the table. Like I... I, it was like my body was eight years old again and it was just stuck there. I was drooling. I was, I couldn't breathe. I could not even mutter a word. Like that's how afraid I was in that moment. Mm. And I had to like work through even getting like my words out and stuff um, because my eight year, eight year old self was really afraid of everything. I felt very unsafe and I was beat a lot and I was overworked and force fed and it was traumatizing right and um usually how this works is you focus on a specific memory uh -huh. and apparently by doing this work that memory no longer has the feelings associated with it well you process mm. it you together process it so together, when yeah. you're eight years old i wasn't i didn't have the opportunity when i was that young to process my surroundings or what was happening to me because i just didn't have control i was under the control of an adult right so it gives me a moment to kind of look back and kind of understand it for what it was and realize that it just was something that happened then my body shouldn't feel 
my body should be in 2020. It shouldn't be in 1996 sure. or 1994, which it still feels a lot like it is, you know, and that's why I sweat a lot. My heart races a lot. I have a lot of like my shit blood, you know, and I think that my body is just trapped in in that time of my life. And I found it to be really interesting. And um, I I still need to, I have a long, long, long way to go. But I thought to myself like, oh, I think that this talk therapy, when you just talk to, to a therapist all day, it has its limits. At some point you have to address the fact that even though you understand and you, you can empathize and you understand all the things that's wrong with you, you gotta work on your body because your body really does keep count. And while your head is okay, your body is still like locked in a place where it shouldn't be, you know? How long is the session? If for me, it was an hour and a half, and it was mostly an hour of me not being able to get words out Whoa. and yeah. then drooling and like feeling like I needed to vomit. I thought you were going to be mad because next door I was screaming playing Warzone. Were you angry? Um, no, because you were screaming in the beginning of therapy when I wasn't attached. I wasn't, we weren't starting yet. Uh, and I did. I was like, oh, he's going to fucking. Yeah. Um, but. But yeah, I thought it was really interesting. So if you guys have done it, or if you have any thoughts on it, like, EMDR is similar. So you know, I don't. We don't. I don't. We, we, I don't. I can't really compare. I've never done um, train spotting, but um, <laughs> it's kind of cool. I yeah. thought. So you want to get on? No, no, no. We're now. We are going to get on. No, not yet, babe. Uh. Let me introduce the next segment. <laughs> yes. Which segment? Our next is segment it? this week is. Hanumanan. Hanumanan. What, is, what does that mean? Oh God, Hanumanan. <laughs> Hanumanan is like um, a memory, like a. Like Hanumanan, a, I remember. It? Like Hanumanan means something like a, a keepsake. Is that what it's called? Keepsake. Um, and um, this week on Hanumanan, hmm. we have a photograph that Gilbert will pull up. Yep. Oh, I have two photographs. Would you like me to put them in back to back? Oh, or? God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because I here's think the, that the, let's do the, the first, first photograph with the medals. Here's the first one. <laughs> oh, look I at her. Braces. Okay, so we should probably blur out his face right here, but that's the coach that brought the gun. To <laughs> swim practice. Hey, look at him. Look, he looks so fishy. He had a polio leg, too, and he would, my God, he was brutality. He, oh wow! And he would make us do the hovering thing, and um, he's he's that yeah. looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did have you? a mustache. You traveled and long in the past. He traveled to the what, past. What if that gun? was? F uh, how crazy would you, that be? Crazy, that babe. Me. He had a mullet and a mustache. That is kind of like the nose. <laughs> wow! And see those medals around my neck. Oh, that's a flex. That's I was a flex. never. I was never allowed to. The reason that my face is that way is because we weren't allowed to wear our medals around my, our, our neck for more than five seconds. So that's me probably on the way taking them off after oh. the, the medal ceremony. Yeah. And um, my mom and my mom said we just we weren't to be celebrated at all. So we were just like, nope, she's like, take that out. That doesn't mean anything. And wow. that's hmm. that coach. I think he has a beer in his hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has a beer in his hand. He was always drunk and he... Uh, I, I literally thought that he was singing. <laughs> oh, he might be singing karaoke yeah, too. Yeah, that yeah. is a that is a possibility. Yeah. He did like to sing a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and okay, and then what's? Give me the other photo. Here's the other photo. Oh, who are they? Who's that little baby on the There's left? There's Kalila to the right. Who's the baby to the left? Who do you think it is? Is that Jules? That's little baby Rudy. Look at little Jewel Rude. <laughs> Look at her. Here, Jewel Jules, get on the couch. Get on the couch. <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna take another quick break to share some amazing people with you. Hey, 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 Slap Kingdom, the Patreon is back. Hey, guys, um, we, we would not exist without you. Everyone listening, we love our Patreon as well, deeply. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go there for exclusive vlogs, Ooh. audio podcasts, wow. live streams, and other behind-the-scenes content. Here are big papayas from Patreon for the month of May. Here are the big papayas from Patreon. That's what I meant to say. For the month of May. Here are the big papayas from the Patreon for the month of May. Here are the big papayas from Patreon. <laughs> Tyler Harrington. Tyler TJ. Harrington. What's TJ, up? What's up? Rebecca Torres. Rebecca Torres. <laughs> Zut. 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 
Hafiz Ismail. Hafiz Ismail. Hafiz. Uh, Hafiz from Singapore. So yeah. Hafiz from Ismail from Singapore. From Singapore. What's up? What's sing, up? sing sing. Sing sing. Melvin Flores. <laughs> Melvin Flores. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> <laughs> Will Boschler. Will Boschler. Will Boschler. Will Boschler. Will Will Will. Will Will Will. <laughs> bon Johnson. Bon Johnson. From the Johnson Johnsons. From the Johnson Johnsons. Uh. Bon Bon. Bon Bon. Brent. Brent. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's, your name Brent. That's it. <laughs> it's like it's it's like name, Prince guys. but Brent. It's like Prince but Brent. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel Wilkins. Rachel Wilkins. From the Wilkins Foundation. From the Wilkins mm. Foundation. Where they create atmospheric Where they create propulsion atmospheric propulsion within itself. Within itself. Creating, creating elusive, elusive testimony, testimony beyond, beyond the confines, the confines of, your own, of mind. your own mind. Hey, if you're curious about what that was all about, guys, you can go to patreon.com slash tiger belly. And now back to the show. Get on the couch. Talk into the mic. Put her head. You want headphones, Jules? <laughs> Wait. Headphones? Talk in the mic. Hi. Closer to the mic. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Closer to the mic. Yeah. So, Jules, do you remember that? I think so. What do you mean you think so? I was like eight or nine. Oh, you were eight or nine. Yeah. Huh. Look at your little fucking monkey feet. <laughs> <laughs> Have you always had big feet like that? Yeah. Do you, are you self-conscious about it? No. You like your feet? Yeah. You know what's great about your feet? You can wear my shoes. Mm -hmm. Remember like the shoes that you wear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about other things. <laughs> <laughs> Just get, put your mouth there. Okay. Okay. Do, hang on one second. Yeah. Is this who I think it is? From Haikyuu? Ask her about this anime on her phone, babe. She's in love with an anime character. Who is this? Um, <laughs> Kobuto. Kobuto. Yeah. I love who, that guy. Who is that? He's a volleyball player. Yep. He's a real volleyball player for what team? Um, another school. I forgot the name. Well, it's not, but, ask for what? but is that a real human? No, it's anime. It's anime. So it's not a real bo volleyball player. It's a, it's nothing. But I still it's love absolutely him. nothing. But I still love him. You still, I know, but you still, all right, but I, you know what, dude? I love this lighter. I love this lighter, and I love this thing. It doesn't mean much, does but, it? But he also talks. All right, all right. Oh. Oh, oh, shit. This is what I wanted to get out of her. Okay, good. So there you go, this character in it, right? This make-believe character that was um, drawn, yeah. right? From Haikyuu. From Haikyuu, right? It's you. You have him as your screensaver. Yeah. And uh, why do you like him? He's very tall and he's confident and he's very friendly to a lot of people. Oh yes. And would you make love to him? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, so you would make love to a cartoon character? <clears throat> wow. A lot of people fantasize about that. They do. Yeah. Oh, they. they have you ever tried to masturbate to? Uh, Hente, uh, hentai? Like anime porn? Hentai. No, I can't do it. Hentai. Is it called henta? Henta. 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 Yeah. Hentai. <laughs> I've been meaning to get into it, but I haven't. Uh... You're correcting me too? <laughs> hentai. I saw one where there was... Just listen, stay here. Uh, I saw this one where this octopus was fucking like six women in the water. Wow, impressive. And I almost I w w was able to come. Almost, almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I couldn't come. Yeah, don't do that. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of weird, dude. That's that true. Can we edit that, that out? A lot? No, but I literally was like, I was like almost there, but then I was like, what am I doing? Yeah. I think I was like 38. I was 38. Yeah, right? Not, yeah. So have you masturbated to him on the oh thing? Oh my God, no, we don't ask. No. <laughs> I don't. She's 19 years old. She's 18. No, she's not. No. <laughs> no. Oh, get out, get out. Okay. Give get her out. a round of applause. Yeah, Great, yeah. Jules. Very good, Jules. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> You gotta She's not my her. daughter, though. I mean, I, yeah. I know, yeah. but it's. She's it's, not my daughter, <laughs> flesh, flesh and blood. I didn't know. I didn't you know. have to protect her at all costs. She's all, she is our daughter. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> I'm yeah. so I'm you, so, uh, sorry, George. <laughs> why are you weird. laughing? George so loves this kind of content. W why? Why do you like it, George? It's funny. 
Okay. <laughs> I apologize. She is our daughter. Yeah, that's and, so and creepy. It's creepy. You're talk. old. You don't Whoa. ask Whoa. an 18-year-old high schooler Whoa. what she masturbates to. You're oh. a creep if you do. That sounds weird when you put it like that. It, when you put it that way, fine. When you put it in English, it's fine. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. She's, we just looked at a picture of her as a baby, okay? Yeah. yeah I... <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, forget it. Let's you're, let you're, it go. you're free to do what you want on Bad Friends, Jules, but you fucking... Jules, I swear to God. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I fucked it up, all right? I don't know. I, I've i never raised a child. <laughs> Guys, we have a well... It's my we first have a well, radio. well, let me give you first a uh, pro tip. Yeah. Don't ask your own daughter what she masturbates to. <laughs> Pro tip. If I, oh, pro tip. Okay. But pro if I had a son, if I had a son, right? Yeah. And I go, hey, you jerking off to that son? That doesn't sound as bad. It actually sounds maybe even worse. <laughs> really? Like, if I'm with if I'm with my son on a couch, right? Be, yeah. Okay. And we're watching this. We're watching the Super Bowl. Bowl. God, I love the 49ers, Dad. Yeah, and then also the commercial goes. It's a Budweiser commercial. Yeah. There's women on the beach. You know what I mean. Oh damn! Oh, my this butt is true to you. This butt is true, <laughs> true to, to you. you. Love this on commercial. On the beach, on the beach. beach, right? And they're drinking, right? And this girl's dancing. I can't turn to my son and go, "Would you? You find her attractive? You want? Would That's you? Would you different. jerk off to him? That's her, different. I mean, would you jerk off to her? And he's you know like what? 19. He'd probably be like, Dad, that's weird. But yeah, I would. Yeah, that's fine if you if it's more casual. But like, you, she's so. Like, if I have a daughter, same thing, right? Okay, here you go. Hold, on, hang on one second. So you have a daughter. She comes. You're doing a, a show. <laughs> you have Eric Griffin here, and you you bring her in. You're like, hey, come on, little daughter. We'll, we'll call her. <laughs> what? We'll call her. her name is, what? Like, what? Why would you? If I had a daughter, here. I would come call here, her. little daughter. Come over here this way, little daughter. If we had a daughter, I would name her Amihan. So you'd call her Amihan. Ami. Uh, Amihan. Come here, uh -huh. Ami. Have you ever seen a big, round, chocolatey, fat, fat before? <laughs> and then Eric Griffin goes, hey, baby. Ooh. He goes, hey, hey baby. baby. How old is she, baby? Number one, that was racist. <laughs> <laughs> it was? Yeah. <laughs> from, the, from the dawn of time. People have made fun of each other and teased each other and whatnot via through your size, your height, your may, your, maybe the way your personality is, and sometimes race as well, right? Mm -hmm. But when, it, like, when dock workers, or fishermen, let's say fishermen, you yeah. know, how sometimes they, people, fishermen will go up to Alaska for six months and fish, mm -hmm. and then you have like 12 dudes from all over the country, all over the world there, and they get to know each other, right? And there's like maybe a Puerto Rican guy who's like 4'8. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Hey, you know, I, I just caught a, a, a conch, right? And they're like, aha, you know, little, little Raul, you know, they'll make fun of him. Yeah. Right? So it's like, that's what you do. And there's, if there's a fat black guy there, uh -huh. and they're like, hey, come, don't go to the side of the boat or it's, it's gonna fucking, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. It's gonna capsize, you know? It'll be, yeah. People make jokes like that, right? Yeah. yeah. Or like, or, or like when you, if I was Asian, I pick, you know, brought a fish in. Uh, Bobby will just eat that right now, raw. Speaking of conk, can I tell you guys a story? <laughs> Wait, okay, go ahead. I'm gonna send you a video right now. Of I showed Bobby this really moving um, short film that this woman, Kimmy Werner, made where she travels, she's six months pregnant and she travels to Jeju, Isl Jeju Island oh, yeah. in Jeju. Korea. It's so funny that you say this because I never knew what a conch was until I saw this. And this is where I got the word. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so that's interesting. Okay, so I showed him this video because of, of the Henio women. The Henio women are um, Korea's first working moms from when they're teenagers all the way up to when they're 80, till the day they die, they go out and they're sea foragers. They free dive for conch, for mm -hmm. abalone, um, for seaweed, and they bring it back and that's their way of living. That's their sustainable lifestyle. They they feed their families and their generations and it's it's a whole, it's, it's seriously so moving that at 80, you see these women just go out and put strap on, put them, slip onto their wetsuits in the cold, rough water, and they collect their own food. Yeah. So I showed Bobby this video, and I thought that, oh, he would be impressed because he was like, wow, Korean pride. I, I showed it to him because I wanted him to know that these women in Korea exist. But I, I got um, the reaction that I got from the video is what I'm going to send you. Give me a second, okay? 
Wait, you taped me saying something? Yeah. I don't remember. <clears throat> Can you play it, Gil? <laughs> <laughs> I want a baby. That wasn't the point of the video. <laughs> I want a baby. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because the, the girl that's in there. Kimmy uh, Werner. Kimmy Werner was pregnant and then she had her baby. And then it just struck me like, I want a baby too. But she mm. also talked about why she put off having a, baby. a child. I want a baby. <laughs> for so long is because she thought that being a mom, by being a mom, she would have to trade in her love for the ocean and her love for, you know, she was basically saying like a lot of the spear fishermen that she goes out with, you know, a day after their baby is born, they're back out in the ocean. Mm. And she's like, I wouldn't be able to do that. And you have a one unhelpful advice. Yeah. No, we actually have someone waiting in the uh, for a welfare check in a really quick. Oh, one. Who is we it? do. Speaking of Korean fishermen, uh, I'd like you to bring up some uh... Jason Momoa. Fuck yeah. Yep. We got someone <laughs> real. Jason Momoa. It's we Jason got someone Momoa. real and big finally on Tiger Belly. George Put told that on Jason Momoa to hurry up. All right. Uh, well, if George well, knows this guy. Well, let's name Jason. Jason Statham. No, 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 no. Jason Statham. <laughs> That's who it is, Star. Oh, good, good. Because if it's I, no, if it's in. somebody, I don't know a Jason. Okay, hold on. We'll name Jason. all the Jason uh, famous Jasons. Jason Hill, I know. Yep. Jason from the movie Friday the 14th. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jason Statham. Jason <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, not Jason Statham, babe. Jason Thin Lips. <laughs> yes. That's Thin Lips, babe. <laughs> hey, gang squad. Let me go horizontal. Bobby looks really disappointed. Hey, guys, it's our B cab. Jason Thin look Lips. At, look, 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 look. I'm happy. Jason, look at Bobby's face. Yeah, he's happy. Yeah. I think. <laughs> who are, who? Who's oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I remember you. <laughs> so rude. You're so rude. Hi, Jason. Yeah, we DK miss you. For like I know. I love you, Jay. Jay, how's how's this been for you? Uh, How you? What have you been up to? I learned a lot about the Bronze Age, Celtic Bronze Age. <laughs> oh, you've been watching a lot of docu docus. There's a lot on you. A lot out there on YouTube, man. Wait, what yeah. is Kel Celtic Bronze Age? Is it Celtic Bronze Age? Like, like England, Ireland. They're making stone stand up. Oh shit! Stuff oh. like that. There's a lot. Now, of you know those those uh, those statues on the those islands. What are they called? The Shelter Island. The Easter Island. Easter Islands. Are those that same thing? No, Celtic? I don't think so. I think that's well, more a like similar a... idea, but they're like white people doing it. Yeah. <clears throat> instead. Yeah, because yeah. I want to say something. Your head is much like those statues right now. <laughs> Thank you. You're Big. welcome. I don't know. Heavy? Menacing. Heavy, menacing, Thick. big. I like I like things. heavy, menacing, and big. I I'll forget, Jay. Do you have a girlfriend? What? How's your girlfriend? I do. I moved into her apartment. This Whoa, is it. Oh shit! Oh wow! Mm. Whoa! Wow! wow. 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 Oh, in life. Okay. You came up. Who is she? Jess. Jess. She's Rachel. What is that? <laughs> not, what? Not Wait, that was what a was picture that? of a dude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You showed us like a picture a of a guy. At all. <laughs> oh, that was me. Sorry, oh, that was my you? phone, my, my battery, <laughs> no, low notification came I was up. like, well, you're dating yourself? <laughs> so, no, uh, no, that... so Jason, um, are you, how's your spirits, though? You, you feeling good? Are you happy? Honestly, I'm really liking it. I was traveling a lot before this on tour with my friend Shin Lim. Shout out to Shin Lim Magic. And uh, this has been a nice... Oh, I, lo I love that guy. That guy was on that. American uh, God Talent? That's his yeah, best friend. Yeah. That's his best friend. <laughs> makes Is that really? Disappear. Yeah, we He's really together. good. He's, so you went is. on the road with him? Yes. Yeah, I was yeah. on the road with him a bunch last year. So this has been very tranquil, relatively speaking, like being in one place. Mm. And, you know, I've had time to relax and recover. And eventually maybe I'll do something like personal projects and motivate. But, you know, it's meantime, so weird. That you're right. I mean, it's in this quarantine, it's really difficult to get motivated to do anything creative. It's like mm -hmm. my days consist of like waking up, war zone, eating something, war zone, <laughs> watching something, going to sleep. Yeah, yeah but war I think zone that is always calling. 
that's a that's also an issue that I'm finding um, is kind of getting on my nerves a bit. This like productivity propaganda where people are like really like I'm doing this, learning a new language, working out three times a day, and it sort of feels like this sense of like I I mean great, but also do you have to put it on like display and making people feel like if mm -hmm. they're just passing time because it is a weird time yeah um it i i just i don't know it's not a, it's not a i don't i'm not a fan of the of the productivity propagandists also we live yeah. in a society that's like constantly you know we're all everyone's on this, this rat race you know it yeah. always yeah, feels man. like people are trying to one-up each other yeah, and trying man. to succeed and um for me and it's funny, Mark Marin um, texted me like three weeks ago and he goes, isn't it nice that the race is like, you know what I mean? We're all at the starting or in limbo, you know? It feels yeah. like that competitiveness is no longer there. I haven't had those feelings like, why the fuck, you know, did he get that and I didn't get that or, you know, or, you know what I mean? What the fuck is wrong with me because I didn't do this or whatever. It's like those thoughts are kind of subsided and, you know, I'm Cut more... Off. Yeah, it levels the playing field a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and it feels kind of nice, no? Yeah, but that's also from coming from a very privileged position where you're in because it does not feel nice for a lot of people, and you do have to like consider that. Oh no, I, I, I no, right. don't, 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 don't get me wrong. Don't, 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 don't get me wrong. Okay, I, 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 I have empathy. Listen, I'm blessed. Kalila and I are blessed. I think George and Gilbert are blessed. You know, we don't have the, some of the struggles that other people have. I get it, and I pray for those people, and I feel bad, and I and I want to help. Okay, I I, I feel bad. Um, but that being said, you know, you're, you're talking just amongst your own friends and amongst people. You're you're people in the but industry. But I think I think, but no, because when I talk to other people on when I'm playing Warzone. Right. Even they have the same kind of thoughts. And, you know, one guy works at a car dealership. The other guy works at a uh, he he's he rents out beach like like bikes on the beach. Right. Yeah. But they even have that kind of like it's it was nice to everyone slow down and all that kind of stuff. So I think people have that same. Yeah. The slowing down part for sure is yeah. is is nice having a moment to actually kind of look around and say, oh, shit, like mm -hmm. we've been doing it wrong all this time. <laughs> So Jason, uh, yeah. do you do you miss cameraing for us? Can yeah, John Na kind of took I over. I do. For I mean, I miss. Minute. Yeah, John Na stole my job. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to say something nah. racial there? Go ahead. Yeah, say it. Say it to John. <laughs> we'll edit oh, it out. Yeah, there probably is something <laughs> racial there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, buddy. Um, you know when we're gonna need you again if you're available one day. I'll be back. And, and we miss you. Uh, we love. We miss Thin Lips. Everyone misses Thin Lips. Um, follow him on Jason Nelkin. <laughs> oh, at, at, you yeah, know. he got it right. And check yeah. out my new podcast, Powerful Truth Angels, with Maddie Matheson and Alex Two Tone. Oh. Available on platforms everywhere. That's why. Wait, you you're came in a on. podcast with Maddie Matheson? Yeah, I don't, I'm not on it, but I produce it. He's oh a George. My God, oh, I love good. congratulations, him. JJ. He I'm learned from George. Tiger Belly. Yeah. Yeah, you're uh, wow. You're learning from one of the kind of best, George Kim. <laughs> you couldn't even compliment yeah. him. All the way. I tried to. Ah, oh, it was hard. One of the it was very kind difficult. Of best. Anyway, Jason, uh, listen to his podcast, world. and uh, and it's good to see you. And I love you. Okay, and I'll see you soon. Peace Thank brother. you. Love you guys. Bye, Bye JJ. Jason. See you, Jason. Bye. Oh, he blew a kiss. So sweet. You know what? I'll tell you this about Jason. Um. Out of all the the people that like come in the room, for mm -hmm. some reason, I can also John Na actually this applies to. I'm always in the room two hours after the podcast is done if Talking. either of those guys mm -hmm. are the B camps because I can talk to them forever about yeah. anything under the sun. Yep. Like John Na and I, the last time John Na was here, I think like George had already left, everyone had left, and we're still like going <laughs> on and yammering about. Random Whatever the stuff, fuck yeah. we were yammering about, but it's always something. Those guys are so interesting to me. They have so much mm -hmm. to say. I I love Jason and John because you know why they're not intrusive. Yeah, they respect us. Mm -hmm. too. But respect yeah, I, I Jason hate is a, a kind of a a, 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 fuck a machine. down on the down low <laughs> genius. A genius. That guy is so smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. he is a good guy. 
Anyway, thanks for listening to another episode of Tiger Belly. Wait, we haven't done an uh, unhelpful advice. I thought that replaced it. No, that didn't replace it. <laughs> unhelpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. <laughs> we'll do a quick one. This is from our good friend. Um, her name is H. She's a female. Hey, I'm 25. I've been married for five years to a wonderful man. For a while, I've been questioning my sexuality. I don't want to have sex with him anymore. And I want to be with women. How do I tell him I'm in uh, unhappy? Uh, wait, how do I tell him I'm in ha- unhappy, believe I'm gay, and want a divorce? Oh, oh Lord. But you guys can just do uh, a role play scenario, if that helps. <laughs> okay. All right. One. Let me give it a try. Okay, give it, go, go, go. All right, so Klaus asleep. No, what I'll, I'll just do it. I'll what just, do you say? Hold on. No, what Klaus are you going to say? Asleep. To... She's asleep. Okay, hold on. All right, hold on. sweetie, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. You have to wake up harder. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Harder. She's asleep, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Just wake up, babe. Wake up. <laughs> wake up babe. Oh, over with. Let's get this over with. <laughs> wake up, wake up. Uh, sorry, I was dreaming uh, uh, of like sucking. Anyway, dick. so um, you know, I don't know if you noticed lately, um, but um, I've been acting a little strange. Yeah, I've been noticing yeah. you've been really down lately. Like you know, I've been, you know, we've been going to the taco shop, and I've been, <laughs> you know, I've been eat, ordering all those tacos, and I know, babe, and you, but I would, I don't eat them. I just lick, I lick them. I've been licking the tacos, and then, you know, I know, I know we went to the fish market the other day, and I, and I stuck my tongue in those, the abalone. I didn't, I didn't notice that. Yeah, yeah and I was yeah, licking yeah. the abalone like that, and yeah. then um, I don't, I don't know if you've also noticed that, you know, we've been, you know, you know how I say let's go hiking every morning just to go to that cave. Oh yeah, the one shape. Yeah, like and I go the... to the cave, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know it's it's shaped, it's shaped like a taco, the cave. But anyway, um. I want puss, puss. Excuse me? <laughs> I want pussy, pussy. Would you want to introduce a woman into the oh. relationship? No, 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 what no, are you I, saying? No, I, 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 no, no, no. You have dick. I don't want... I puss, puss, puss. <laughs> okay, so Bobby's suggestion is just say Wait, puss, Are you puss. sure you don't want yeah, my dick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's what you... Either one, you should try those. <laughs> either one, you should try those, whoever, uh, young lady. No, honestly... Oh. We, the honest truth is that you should just be completely. You should do it sooner than later, mm. because it'll get worse. Obviously, later, you, you're gonna let that live in your head rent free for what months and months and months. Because inevitably, you're gonna have to do it. So I would do it sooner than later. Live your life and get happy sooner. Yes, get it's happy. It's gonna be difficult. It'll be difficult in the beginning because there's gonna be a lot of emotions, a lot of paperwork. Maybe some lawyers will be involved. But you're gonna have to do it anyway down the line. It's the same reason why it's it's I when why I hear people go, I want to try stand up, but I'll do it five years. Do it now. I will say one thing though, when when delivering such um sad, uh, not sad, life changing news to somebody, the reason I was crying in the bed last night with a computer is because I wish that I had done. I I I, I want to redo. Mm. I. There's a way to to be honest, but to also be gentle and to consider that someone is going through the same uh, similar pains with you. That even if you are going to be no longer a couple, your lives are enmeshed and there's a lot of love there and you need to be gentle. There's uh, back then I used to this is my my mindset. I just Mm -hmm. need to live in my truth. This is my truth, and you're just going to have to hear it. Mm -hmm. I had no consideration for, I just was so like self righteous and very selfish in that way because I'm like, okay, fine. You deserve the truth. Here's the brutal, honest truth. The the truth doesn't need to be delivered brutally, is all I'm saying. Even if the truth is brutal, you can can do it in a gentle way, in a loving Mm -hmm. way. And I think that that's what's most important. But good luck to you. That's a difficult situation that you're in. That is. Don't anyway, say, don't say his dick sucks. Is what I'm saying. Don't say yeah, yeah, yeah his yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. dick don't was whack. That. Yeah, don't even bring up dick. Yeah, just yeah, say yeah. you just prefer pussy just, over yeah, any yeah. dick in the world. Yeah. Even Jason Momoa's dick, you won't have. Even Jesus's dick, you won't have. You just mm. prefer pussy. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, <laughs> wow, what an episode! What, what an, an episode, episode of Tiger Belly. I like solos, don't you, babe? I have fun. This is fantastic. Yeah. This is fantastic. Did you have fun on this one? Yes, I did. How about you, Jules? Jules there? I'll be honest, did you have fun? I did. All did right. you? Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Your unhelpful advice answers are always so much better than mine. No, it wasn't. No, yours like, was good too. Mine was not 
You shouldn't do what I did. No, I like the whole I want puss puss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want puss puss. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, listen, thank you for listening to the um, Tiger Belly. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being involved in our family. And we love you as well. Um, if you want to play me in Warzone, fans. I do. All right. You just have to message me. I can carry you. Oh, wow. Because if and if I play with you and you can't carry me and you're not good, mm. I will leave. Yeah. But if you're very good at Warzone, like one of the top guys, and you want to play with and you 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 want to carry Pop Papa, I'll play with you. Friendships. Okay, it's called friendship. All right. But God bless you and take care and thank you for listening to another episode of the Tiger Belly. Good eye. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! The salt toast to you, my friends. I'll be right back. Okay, where are you going? Hey, everyone. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Uh, we want to give a shout-out to our sponsor, Battle, uh, whoa, BetterHelp. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Special offer for Tiger Belly listeners. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash belly. Guys, get your therapy. George? Get your question on Tiger Belly by emailing us at adviceunhelpful at gmail.com. We're looking for interesting, unusual, non-typical problems, and we need your help as much as you want ours. That's adviceunhelpful at gmail.com. Guys, if you haven't already, go to iTunes, give us five stars, drop us a comment, and we'd appreciate it. Uh, George, uh, where can people join the Patreon? Uh, that's at patreon.com slash tigerbelly, or just go to Patreon and search for Tiger Belly. Links should be everywhere. I haven't double-checked that those work. Um, but we're having fun with it over there. We're doing a lot of different things. Uh, we've got uh, the vlogs are back over there. Um, we've got a couple. we got the first part of the quarantine vlog is up. Oh, yeah. I saw um, we've got uh, coming soon, Kalila chats with Puerto Rican Gary, and uh, they talk about the mean streets mm -hmm. of Pasadena. Uh it is real, so you want to hear about that. And my internet connection is unstable. Interesting. Okay, so uh, told maybe that's a... internet. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Party dog shirt. This guy's wearing a party dog shirt. I was tired of getting made fun of. You know, you, there's no way to make fun of this shirt. It's got a dog. It's got money. And he's smoke. Yeah, he's got money. He's got a beer in one hand, and he's smoking a doobie, and it says party dog up top. He's smoking a doobie, says this guy. All right, make anyways, fun of guys. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Tiger Belly, like George said. Uh, vlogs. You can find the newest vlogs over there. Um, occasionally, every other month or once a month, we try to do a live stream with Bobby or Kalila um, and all sorts of other fun behind the scenes stuff there, too. Hey, maybe yeah. we'll get an interview with Jules. Who knows? <laughs> anyways, guys, uh, we love you so much. You can follow George at George underscore, Kim George underscore Kimmel. Or is it? Or George yeah. Kimmel. George underscore Kimmel. Okay, I haven't well. posted in so long. I need to yeah. do something or, again soon. Uh, OG deep cuts. Voted best tweets. Look for that one. Yeah. Um, you can find Kalala at Calamity K, Bobby at Bobby Lee Live, and you can find all your COVID information not at the CDC, but at Gilbits. Uh, we love you so much. Follow us at Tiger Belly on Instagram, at the Tiger Belly on Instagram, uh, on Twitter, and uh, we love you. Bye. See ya.